The most important requirement for people and their existence has always been energy, which has been obvious to everyone. As a result of rising energy demands, global energy consumption has consistently been on the rise. As more and more energy-intensive devices, systems, and applications become a part of our daily lives, the amount of fuel and electricity needed for business operations and societal advancements rises dramatically. Due to various environmental, health, and sustainable development restrictions, these needs have altered the energy equation. GAC has unveiled an intriguing liquid ammonia-powered combustion engine. It examines one potential replacement for conventional fuels and was created in collaboration with Toyota. According to a report, China's Guangzhou Automobile Group Corporation GAC has developed an ammonia-powered engine as part of its efforts to advance sustainable mobility. This engine can be added to the list of more environmentally friendly options, such as electric cars and hydrogen fuel cells. At its yearly technology showcase, the Chinese automaker featured its unique 2.0-litre engine. According to claims, this engine generates 1.6 to 1 horsepower while emitting 90% less carbon dioxide than if it were powered by gasoline. It is a well-known fact that nearly one-third of the energy consumed globally is used in the transportation sector, where fossil fuels are primarily used to produce common transportation fuels like diesel, gasoline, jet fuel, etc. According to the level of development of the country, their extensive use has resulted in very high levels of greenhouse gases, ranging from 20% to 30%. Despite manufacturers and government's extensive efforts to make the switch to electric and hybrid vehicles, it appears that this transition cannot be made in a timely manner due to infrastructure, financial, and raw material issues. However, the current environmental indicators show that prompt and decisive action is needed. Additionally, the use of diesel and gasoline-powered generators in residential, commercial, utility, and off-grid applications raises the consumption of fossil fuels and CO2 emissions. In order to transition to the hydrogen economy more quickly, using ammonia in combustion processes like gas turbines and internal combustion engines may be a key solution. The recently unveiled motor, intended for use in passenger cars, derives its primary energy from ammonia, a safe and accessible fuel source. Why is ammonia used? One nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms make up an ammonia molecule. Even when only low-cost emissions controls are used, ammonia can be burned in internal combustion engines with only minor modifications, emitting only nitrogen and water vapor from the tailpipe. A selective catalyst reduction system would eliminate and burn ammonia and nitrogen oxides from the engine's exhaust. A catalytic reaction between nitrogen obtained from air, which contains 78% nitrogen and hydrogen obtained by separating water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen, can produce ammonia at a reasonable cost. At room temperature, ammonia is a colorless, strong-smelling gas made of the elements nitrogen and hydrogen. Hygroscopic and easily dissolved in water and humidity, pure ammonia is a gas. It is among the industrial chemicals that are most frequently produced globally. Considered a potential, carbon-free solution for systems and processes in various industries, clean ammonia is discussed from a variety of angles, including potential sources, important manufacturing methods, distribution and storage options, applications, benefits and drawbacks, as well as problems with combustion and potential solutions. It has been suggested for combustion applications and assessed as a clean fuel. In addition, some important solutions to potential problems with ammonia use are discussed and addressed for real-world applications. Vehicles powered by ammonia function very similarly to those powered by gasoline in that liquid ammonia is burned with oxygen to create energy that is used to power the wheels. Because of this well-established technology, ammonia-powered vehicles can typically be constructed and maintained in the same manner as the current fleet of vehicles. However, ammonia-powered vehicles would not produce carbon dioxide, unlike those that run on conventional fuel. 
This could be a big step in battling climate change and lowering greenhouse gas emissions from conventional gasoline-powered cars. Chi Hong Hong, an engineer at the GAC R&D Center, told the media, We've overcome the pain point of ammonia being difficult to burn quickly and put the fuel to use in the passenger car industry. It is worthwhile to anticipate its value to society and for commercial purposes. An internal combustion engine that can run on ammonia has been developed before. In fact, GAC is the first to look into its potential use in passenger cars, despite the fact that it is already being investigated as an alternative fuel in the shipping and trucking sectors. It emits no carbon, hydrocarbon, or CO2 when burned, according to a report, but it has about half the energy density of gasoline. But it also has its downsides. Ammonia is a corrosive element due to its alkaline characteristics. Due to the difficulties in using ammonia as a fuel source, these efforts are focused on commercial transportation, like trucking and shipping, rather than personal vehicles like cars. This emphasis results from the fact that these sectors are better suited to deal with the problems brought on by this toxic substance. In industries like commercial shipping, where ammonia has been widely transported for years as an essential component in fertilizer production, established safety protocols and systems are already in place. A number of industries, including those involving marine engines and fuel cells for vehicles, have begun to pay attention to ammonia as an alternative fuel source. The successful delivery of an ammonia fuel supply system for marine engines by Mitsubishi Shipbuilding Corporation in May demonstrated the adoption of this fuel. Additionally, innovative methods that involve turning ammonia into hydrogen and then using it in fuel cells to power vehicles are being investigated by startups like Amogy Inc. It has been investigated as a fuel source in the shipping and transportation sectors because these sectors are experts in handling and distributing toxic materials like ammonia. Likewise, if ammonia fuel is used in an unboosted engine with a low compression ratio, it will release a lot of nitrogen into the atmosphere. Although GAC hasn't explicitly stated its intentions, some research suggests that ammonia-powered production cars won't catch on. Despite the potential advantages of ammonia as a fuel, there are a number of obstacles preventing its widespread use in passenger cars. Ammonia is a dangerous chemical that needs careful infrastructure for storage, transportation, and dispensing. Safe handling procedures and appropriate safety measures must be implemented. However, not everyone agrees to this. According to a 2005 study by the Danish Riso National Laboratory, ammonia wouldn't be any riskier than current fuels. Since it is lighter than air, ammonia has been used as an industrial and agricultural chemical for more than a century. When released, ammonia quickly dissipates. Ammonia can already be produced and distributed on a large scale thanks to existing infrastructure. Simple modifications could be made at gas stations to start dispensing ammonia. It can be kept safely at low pressure in pressurized tanks. But for now, major automakers are now putting a lot of effort into electrifying cars, particularly through battery electric cars BEVs. With significant investments in battery technology, charging infrastructure, and range expansion, the development of electric vehicle technology has accelerated significantly. The increased accessibility of renewable energy sources and the desire to lower greenhouse gas emissions are what is driving the emphasis on electrification. It will take more work to get around these obstacles and develop ammonia into a viable alternative fuel for passenger vehicles. Despite the fact that the automotive industry is primarily focused on electric vehicle technologies, ongoing technological advancements and coordinated efforts from various stakeholders may one day make ammonia a practical fuel option. What about you? Do you have any thoughts about ammonia-powered engine? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.